welcome i welcome you all to this lecture in the course samasa in paninian grammar 2 as is our practice we begin our lecture with the recitation of the mangala charana vishvesham sachidanandam वंदेहम यो खिलन जगत चरी करती बरी भरती संजरी हरती लीलया विश्वेशम सच्चिदानंदम वंदेहम यो खिलन जगत चरी करती बरी भरती संजरी हरती लीलया we are studying the karaka theory earlier we said that the theory of compounding is called samartha theory in paninian grammar and it is based on the karaka theory in order to understand karaka theory better we studied the three types of meanings available and discussed in the paninian grammatical tradition namely the prakrityartha the pratyayartha and also the artha of their samsarga or sambandha which is called the samsarga artha we noted down that the vibhaktis or the pratyayas denote karakas and there are six karakas and we also noted down the names of these six karakas in the previous lecture there we noted them down as karta karma karana sampradana apadana and adhikarana in this particular order we also stressed on the fact that there are six karakas and there are seven vibhaktis technically speaking in paninian grammar now let us study this karaka theory in little bit more detail these are those six karakas that we studied earlier in this particular order karta agent karma object karana instrument sampradana recipient apadana point of separation and adhikarana location in paninian grammar however the sequence of this these karakas is different that is shown on this particular slide first comes apadana point of separation this is stated by ashtadhyayi 1.4.24 then comes sampradana this is stated by ashtadhyayi 1.4.32 then comes karana instrument this is stated by the sutra ashtadhyayi 1.4.42 then comes adhikarana location stated by the sutra ashtadhyayi 1.4.45 then comes karma or object stated by the sutra ashtadhyayi 1.4.49 and finally comes karta agent stated by the sutra 
54. This order is very peculiar and this peculiarity is explained in the other course called Introduction to Paninian Grammar. We shall not go into that detail here. Our main purpose is to understand what these six Karakas are from the point of view of our present concern in this particular course where we are focusing on Avyayi Bhava, Bahubrihi and Dvandva Samasas. Let us take up one by one each Karaka, look at its definition given in the Ashtadhyayi and try to understand what that concept is. First is Apadana stated by Ashtadhyayi 1.4.24 point of separation. The Sutra 1.4.24 is Dhruvam Apaye Apadanam. There are three words in the Sutra. Apadana is the Saudhnya. Dhruvam is the Saudhni. Dhruva means constant or stable. Apaya means separation. So, overall, this sutra means that that is an apadana which is constant in the act of separation. Later on in the text composed by Bhartrahari namely the Vakyapadiya apadana is delineated in three categories namely Nirdishta Vishaya, Upatta Vishaya and also Apekshita Kriya. However, we will not go into the details of these in this particular course. Let us take an example. Ramalakshmanau Prayagat Kashim Gachataha. Rama and Lakshmana go to Kashi from Prayag. In this example, Rama and Lakshmana are initially located in Prayag. Now they get separated from Prayag and there is Apaya that is happening. In this Apaya, Prayag is Dhruva. Therefore, it is termed as Apadana and then by another Sutra, Apadane Panchami, the Panchami Vibhakti, the fifth case, is added in order to express Apadana and therefore Prayaga gets the fifth case and it becomes Prayagat. Ramalakshmanau Prayagat Kashim Gachataha. This is an example of an Apadana. Let us now move ahead and study what is a Sampradana stated by the Sutra 1.4.32 onwards. Well, 1.4.32 is Karmana Yam Abhipraiti Sa Sampradanam. This is a recipient of the result of the action. What this Sutra means is that that which the agent wishes to reach or connect through the object is termed as Sampradana. I repeat, that which the agent wishes to reach or connect through the object is termed as Sampradana. For example, Acharyaha Lambakaranaya Grantham Tadati which means a teacher gives a book to Lambakarana. Lambakarana is an example of a Bahuvrihi Samasa. Now here, the action of giving is described in the verbal form Dadati, 
बुक इज द ऑब्जेक्ट टीचर इज द एजेंट इट इज थ्रू दिस ऑब्जेक्ट नेमली द बुक दैट द एजेंट नेमली द टीचर वॉन्ट्स टू रीच लंबकरण देर फर बाय दिस डेफिनेशन लंबकरण इज द रिसिपियंट ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ दिस एक्शन एंड हेंस लंबकरण इज टर्म्ड एज संप्रदान let us now move ahead and study what is a karana karana is stated by the sutra 1.4.42 karana is the most effective instrument the sutra is sadhaka tamam karanam now what is the most effectiveness the most effective means which when operationalized brings about the result of an action is termed karana sadhakatama for example umarame lekhanya graha patham likhataha uma and rama write the homework by a pen Now here the action described is that of writing uma and rama are the agent and the homework the object the pen is acting as an instrument which when operationalized the result of the action of writing is accomplished and hence the pen the pen is termed karana like and then by the sutra kartru karana yos tritiya tritiya vibhakti is added after lekhani and then we have lekhanya in tritiya let us now study adhikarana stated by 1.4.45 adhikarana is a substratum and the sutra is aadharo adhikaranam the substratum of the process as well as the result is termed as adhikarana so we have two types of adhikaranas karma adhikarana and also kartra adhikarana these adhikaranas are also classified in the grammatical tradition as aupashleshika vaishayika and abhivyapaka we shall not go into the details of these in this particular course let us look at the example of the adhikarana karaka so we have gopal deepakau kate asate gopal and deepak sit on the mat in this case the action described here is sitting by the verbal root asate gopal and deepak being the agents now their substratum is the mat and hence mat is termed as adhikarana this is kartra adhikarana and then saptamya adhikarane cha is the sutra which applies and saptami vibhakti is added after the word kata in order to express this adhikarana and so we have gopala deepakau kate asate gopala and deepak sit on the mat let us look at the second example devadattah sthalyam odanam pachati devadatt cooks the rice in a vessel the 
action described here is the action of cooking. Devadatta is agent and Odana or rice being the object. Now Sthali is the substratum of the Odana or rice and hence Sthali is termed as Adhikarana. This is we note a Karmadhikarana and then once again by the Sutra Saptamyadhikarana Cha the Saptami Vibhakti is added in order to express the meaning of Adhikarana after the word Sthali. And so we have Sthalyam. Let us study Karma now. Karma is stated by the Sutra 1.4.49. Karma refers to an object and the sutra stating this is Kartur Ipsitatamam Karma. What it means is that an element which is most desired to be reached or connected by the agent is termed Karma. Once again, an element which is most desired to be reached or connected by the agent is termed as karma. The Paninian grammatical tradition has observed that uh, karma can be classified under three broad umbrellas which are nirvartya, vikarya and prapya. Once again, we shall not be dealing with these three in this particular course. Let us look at the example. Lata Gite Pathashalam Gachataha Lata and Gita go to school. Here the action described is the action of going by Gachataha. Lata and Gita being the agent of this action. This agent wishes the most to connect to the Pathashala through the action of going and hence it is the Ipsitatama and hence it is termed Karma. Because Karma is not expressed by the verbal suffix, thus the sutra Karmani Dvitiya applies and we add Dvitiya Vibhakti after the word Pathashala in order to express the meaning Karma. And then we have finally Karta which is 1.4.54. Karta is an agent. The sutra defining karta is Swatantra karta. The word Swatantra has got two constituents. Swa means self. And Tantra means main or head. What it amounts to is that Swatantra means own self as head or main, therefore independent, where one's own self is the head or main element. So now an element which is independent in the action is termed as Karta. This independence is in accordance with the cognition of the speaker, one which brings together all the entities to play different roles in the accomplishment of an action is what this independence amounts 
टू दिस इज स्वतंत्र करता लेट अस लुक एट एग्जाम्पल वंस अगेन देवदत्त स्थाल्याम ओदनम यज्ञदत्ताय पचति देवदत्त कुक्स द राइस इन अ वेसल फॉर यज्ञदत्त उदन इज राइस विच इज द ऑब्जेक्ट स्थाली इज द सबस्टैटम ऑफ द उदन विच इज द कर्माधिकरण यज्ञदत्त बींग द रिसिपियंट एंड इट इज दिस देवदत्त हु ब्रिंग्स ऑल दीज अब एलिमेंट्स टुगेदर to accomplish the action of cooking odana on its own cannot bring about the result of the action of cooking sthali also cannot bring about the result of the action of cooking on its own so also yajnadatt which cannot bring about the result of the action of cooking by bringing all the elements together however it is devadatt who brings all the above elements together sthali odana and yajnadatt in order to accomplish the action of cooking and to bring about the result of the action of cooking therefore devadatt is swatantra amongst all the elements stated here in this particular sentence and hence devadatt is termed karta now in this particular case where the verbal form is pachati we have ti which expresses karta and devadatt is the same as karta devadatta is non different than karta the role of devadatta in the accomplishment of the action of cooking is already expressed by the verbal suffix ti and therefore now we can add the prathama vibhakti after the word devadatta which technically according to panini may mean nothing but the pratipadikarth so we have devadattah sthalyam odanam yajnadattaya pachati devadatta cooks the rice in a vessel for yajnadatta this is an example of karta to summarize the six karakas act as representation of an individual view point an individual world view amongst the six karakas karta and karma are the two karakas which are very close to the verbal action and the verbal vibhakti expresses either of these two and then the theory of abhidhana comes into play and expresses different karakas using different vibhaktis remember we studied this karaka theory because it is on this that the theory of compounding is said to be based and karakas are the meanings denoted by the vibhaktis and vibhaktis are nothing but pratyayas so karakas are the vibhakti arthas and therefore they form the core of the meaning element in the sentence because in the padartha the pratyayarth or the meaning of the pratyaya acts as the element which is head so the karakas form the core of the meaning element in the sentence which is nothing but the relation of entities with the action 
These meanings feed into the theory of compounding as we shall see later on. The meanings which are interrelated in this particular manner become eligible to be used in the sentence. These are the texts referred to. Thank you very much.